We are going to discuss factoring quadratic trinomial. When you say factoring, here we're going to uh, solve it using two brackets. So we are going to factorize them by placing them into two brackets. Now, this method, it's only applicable if you have a trinomial. The method that I'm going to teach you guys is only applicable if you have trinomial. When you see trinomial, we have three terms. One, two, three. One, two, three, same thing goes for that. So, we have x squared. We have the one with an x and the normal number. And take note that it only works when a is equal to one. When you say a is equal to one, basically the number before the x squared are just one. As you can see, there are imaginary one here. But we don't have to show it. This method only works on those cases. And how does it work? First thing that you have to do is, this is what I do. I'm going to make a t-table here. So I'm going to think of a number that multiplies to, means multiply times to, or add up to something. And what are those? This number over here, I'm going to think of two numbers that multiplies to this. So basically, they have to multiply to 12. Now, as you can see, I'm going to, I'm going to ignore these signs for now. I will ignore the positive or negative. I'll just write the numbers. 12. Now, here... On the middle term, the one that add up to 7. So we can ignore the negative for now. We just write 7. So I will write something that multiplies to 12. That multiplies to 12. And that add up to 7. I am going to think of two numbers. So let's start with any factors of 12. So factors of 12, it could be 6 and 2. Now, I'm going to ask myself, if I add this, what will I get? If I add this, I will get 8. If I subtract this, I will get 4. You can ignore the signs, just normal, uh, normally subtract or add them. But I need 7, so it's not going to work. So 6 times 2 will not work. So maybe I'll try 3 times 4. Now, if I add this, 3 plus 4 gives me 7, and I need a 7. Now, the question is, do I need 7 or negative 7? Now, you can now check the sign in here. As you can see, we need negative. Therefore, we will be using negative 3 times negative 4. Negative 3 times negative 4 is still 12, positive 12. And the negative 3 plus negative 4 is equivalent to negative 7. And these are the two numbers that we are going to use. All we have to do here is put an x, put an x. And then write the numbers, x minus 3, and then x minus 4. And there you go. We already factored x squared minus 7x plus 12. Another example. First, I will write x, x. And then, I will make a t-table here. So, two numbers must multiply to 16. And it has to add up to 6. So, it has to add up plus 2. Six. I'm just using a symbol. It multiplies to and add up to. As you can see again, I ignore the negative and the positive. I'll just take the numbers. Any numbers that multiply to 16, so 4 and 4. Again, ask yourself. 4 plus 4 is equivalent to 8. But I need 6, so it's not going to work. So how about 4 minus 4? That is 0. It is also not going to work because we need 6. So maybe we should think of some other factors of 16, which is 8 and 2. As you can see, we need a 6 in here. So if I add this, I will get 10. And if I subtract this, I will get 6. So basically, I need 8 minus 2. Or 2 minus 8, it depends on the sign. For example, you need here negative 6. In our case, we need positive 6. But if you need negative 6, you will be doing 2 minus 8. But since we need positive 6, we will just use 8 minus 2. And we are going to use 8 and negative 2. So all we have to do here is to write plus 8 minus 2. And we already factored it. Last one here. So again, two numbers that multiplies to 24 and add up to the number on the middle, which is 10. So think of two numbers that multiplies to 24. I will start with the wrong answer, which is 8 and 3. Again, I will ask myself, 
8 plus 3 gives me 11. Do I need 11? No, I need 10. How about 8 minus 3? It gives me 5. You, you will just keep on trying on adding or subtracting them whether you will get the number here. Since it's 11 and 5, we can't use 8 and 3. So we are going to think of some other numbers for 24. And I'm going to use 6 and 4. So 6 plus 4, it will give me 10. And I need 10 in here, so it means probably 6 and 4 would work. So I, all I have to do is to add them. And 6 plus 4, I, I will get a positive 10, which is good because I need a positive 10. And then 6 times positive 4, if you multiply them, I will get positive 24. And it works. Therefore, x plus 6, and then x plus 4. And that is how you factor a quadratic trinomial when a is 1. And as you can see here, actually, if you are good in, in integers, these ones is going to be easy. You can easily find them. You can even sol solve them in your head. You don't even have to do this one. But of course, if you are not uh, that good with that, you can always uh, work using this table even though it takes longer time. And I also made a video on, uh, on how to do integers.